Welcome to Sovereign Finance, the show that connects the dots between personal finance, global finance trends, and deep human history. Tune in every week to demystify the money puzzle and protect your interests in a turbulent world. So as we record this short episode on the 9th of February, 2024, uh, independent journalist Tucker Carlson has just published an interview with the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. And we felt compelled to comment on this. So Derek, take it away. Okay, well, I I was waiting to see what he was going to come up with this and it exceeded my wildest expectations. I think this is an absolutely pivotal interview. Uh, It's just over two hours. And it's very, very densely packed with very important information, which some of which I broadly knew in outline. Uh, it filled in a lot of detail for me. And I think a lot of it was not widely known by the population at large. And I, I, I would say that my recommendation to everybody would be to do your own due diligence and to make your own judgment based on actually listening closely and intently to this interview, rather than uh, allowing the Daily Telegraph or the Guardian or the BBC to do your thinking for you, give you a summary, and then taking that as a legitimate, uh, accurate portrayal of it. Uh, The other thing I would say is that you could... It, at least on the, I, I'm going to listen to it again, right through, and I'm going to be making detailed notes. And perhaps we'll have a for, for future podcast on the aspects of that which relate to the topic of this, which is surviving um, with your finances intact through the world we're living through, because they touched on quite a few aspects that, that relate to, directly to that. I, I think we won't get involved too much in the geopolitics because. There are plenty of other places you should do that. And as I say, the recommendation would be to listen to it yourself and make your own evaluation and your own judgments. And you could you could spare yourself the first 20 minutes because Putin started off by giving a very detailed history going back over 1,200 years through uh, Russia and the the Asian and European uh struggles between nations it's it's pretty interesting in its own right particularly if you're any kind of history buff but as tucker said in his own introduction before the interview started he said he that he initially felt that um putin was filibustering and trying to avoid the, the substantial current issues uh, but but I, I don't think he was doing that at all but uh, as i say if you start listening at the 20 minute mark, uh, make your own evaluations. I think from a sovereign finance lens, there may be a few things you mentioned about the importance of the dollar that may be worth picking up on. And, you know, we will go and make our notes and perhaps publish a separate sub stack with some thoughts on this. But yeah, that that to me was, you know, the bell started ringing in my head of, oh, I need to go and ask Derek about this. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he certainly made an observation, which is what I thought with the way that the um, that things had developed a, few, uh, a year or two back when the uh, conflict in Ukraine kicked off and America confiscated not only uh, Russian capital, which was being held in American banks, but also the, the capital of individual rel- wealthy Russians. And I thought that was a terrific own goal. For the United States, and that is certainly the way that it, it's um, it's unfolding, and it certainly hasn't had the result they they thought that uh, they could cripple Russia by uh, taking it out of the dollar exchange system, and all that it's done is forced them into trading in rubles and in other currencies, and and their economy is. I, I mean, it's interesting. I didn't realize that. The Russian economy is the largest one in Europe, and it still is even after this onslaught. We will do a follow-on conversation, and um, perhaps a follow-on Substack 
Um, but yeah, we just wanted to put this out live and in, in the moments and uh, encourage you to go and listen, uh, form your own opinion, do your own due diligence, but we found it quite compelling. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Sovereign Finance. For more episodes, transcripts, in-depth articles, and the community, please take a minute now to subscribe free at sovereignfinance.substack.com. See you next time.